I'm standing in the corridor of the new Dean Street Townhouse Hotel from Soho House Group, which is situated in Soho in London. I was going to take photographs, but I'm so impressed with the hotel, I thought I'd do a video for you instead. The building dates from the 18th century and was most recently a picture and piano, uh, but this is a vast improvement on that brand of after-work bar. This is the bedroom. Obviously, the standalone bath catches the attention, but the four-poster bed is pretty impressive too. I'm going to take you back into the bathroom and we'll start there. There's a wonderful walk-in shower with a complete range of cow shed, lotions, potions and unguents. They're all full size, but unfortunately they'll charge you if you remove them, but still pretty nice for the duration of your stay. There's decent lighting for your makeup, which is an incredible rarity in most hotel rooms, which do seem to be designed by men, for men, not here. There's this wonderful range of um, complimentary toiletries, which is not something you see very often. There's everything you could possibly need, including uh, this in its own personal bag, just in case. Right, I'm going to take you through into the main corridor. There's a very large double closet, which is great for someone like me who finds it impossible to travel light. They've got the perfect type of hotel bathrobes, which I last saw in the Met in Bangkok. They've got toweling inside and linen on the out, which makes them incredibly comfortable. There's also flip-flops in their own personal bag. And then through into the main room again. It may have been a picture and piano in its former life, but now tea and coffee seem much more alluring. Of course, the English always expect to have tea and coffee 24 hours a day. So there's a cafetiere and a kettle hidden away. Of course, that's not the only thing that's hidden away here. This I have never seen in all my years of hotel reviewing. I'm presuming they've got a deal with Babilis because there's straighteners, there's a hairbrush, and looking here, amazing, more straighteners. Uh, there are lots of snacks, obviously, in, from the mini bar. I'm not sure that Elizabeth Hurley branded candy is quite what I'm looking for, but still, it's there if you want it. Um, and then more fluffy towels, more uh, lotions and potions, and this wonderful bath set on its own plinth so you don't get the carpet wet obviously i think you need to be pretty fond of the person you're staying with to use that but still it's kind of wonderful then next to the bed a robert's radio so i can have john humphreys in the today program first thing in the morning and one of the largest bedside clocks i've seen in a hotel which is perfect if you're as short-sighted as i am the bed i can vouch is already extremely comfortable i bounced on it the moment i came in there's a Bose sound dock, and of course there's Wi-Fi, free, which is a rarity in London, which means that I can vlog for you all. There is the most flattering mirror I have ever seen in a hotel room, and a flat screen TV, of course. But pièce de résistance? Flowers in their own chamber pot.